Alicia McGinty and I'm a professional dancer. Hi Dance Spirit, this is Young Kim Lee. I study ballet for 20 years and certified Pilates instructor and the owner of 21 Pilates Studio. I bought four classical Pilates mat exercises that are beneficial for dancers today. The first exercise, the 100, is a great dynamic warm-up that gives your blood flow and activate your deep abdominal muscles. So start with, bend your both knees and close your chest, Alicia. That's it. Inhale to prepare. As you exhale, now to your chin, you're going to curl your head neck and shoulder off the mat. Then you're going to hover your arms up to your head of your abdominal wall. Then you're going to extend your legs more out to 45 degree angle, the heels together, toes apart in Pilates stance. I prefer to soften your knees a little bit and your lower legs down to 45, so in that way for dancers, not really putting your hamstrings or your quads. Now you're going to start pumps your arms up and down vigorously. Inhale, two, three, four, five. Exhale, two, three, four, five. Inhale, two, three, four, five. Exhale, two, three, four, five. One more. And exhale, two, three, four, five. And stop pumping and bend to your knees in and lower your head down and arms down, lower your feet. The next exercise, the roll up. So you're still deepening your abdominal muscles while you're stretching your spine. So you just lie on your back. Now curl your toes back towards your shin, putting your pinky toes so you're hugging your inner thighs together. You're gonna bring your arms up straight up to the ceiling. Good. Inhale, prepare. As you exhale, now your chin towards your chest. You're gonna peel your spine up off the floor. One more at a time, reaching forward. Make sure you lengthen through your heels and pull your belly button back towards your spine and slowly roll your spine down one more at a time. Lower back first, middle back, upper back, shoulders and head and rest your arms heavy down on the mat. The next exercise is a clamp. So the clamp is you still strengthen your abdominal to stabilize your spine and your pelvis while you're using your external rotator. So you bend your knees, just like Alicia here. Without moving your pelvis, you're gonna open your knee wide. Then close up in. Okay, open and close. Very important to turn to lengthen your top side of your waistline and lower. Okay, let's do one more and open and close. So if you're looking for a true turnout position in standing, this is a great exercise for you to have a sensation of what the true turnout is. So the last exercise is called a single leg kick. It's a lot going on, but I'm going to show how to do it with the Alicia. So you're just facing down and elbows directly underneath your shoulders. So I'm going to move the Alicia so slightly like a tap forward. That's it. And same as well. Make sure you rotate it out, you engage in your abdominal in it up. It's a little too high. Perfect. Then you're going to inhale to lengthen through your leg. As you exhale, you're going to bring your heel, pose your step down twice, kick, kick, and lower down. And you're going to switch side and kick, kick with your left heel and lower. And keep going. Inhale and exhale, exhale and lower. Switch again. You know, exhale, exhale and lower. So one more time on each side and kick, kick and lower. Again, kick. Kick and lower and pop yourself up and go to child's pose. This exercise is very great for dancers um, to learn how to control their back so it can prevent any future back injuries.